Ghana is one of the major destinations for tourists traveling to West Africa. Ghana's tourism sector is playing an increasingly important role in the country's development, contributing to both economic growth and job creation. The government has reorganized tourism as a major economic pillar for development. As such, government is committed to increasing infrastructure investment of Ghana's tourism sector to boost both the number of tourist arrivals and net spend per tourist in Ghana. On the 19th of July 2022, the government of Ghana, under the auspices of the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, cut short for the commencement of the rehabilitation and redevelopment of the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park and Mausoleum. The rehabilitation and modernization of the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park in Accra is part of the Ghana Tourism Development Project. The Tourism Development Project is a key part of efforts to grow Ghana's economy. The tourism sector is the third largest contributor to Ghana's GDP. The redeveloped Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, which cost about $3.5 million, has been commissioned by the government of Ghana. The Memorial Park is a monument of historic significance in Ghana. It was dedicated to the memory of Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and also serves as a resting place for his wife, Fatima Nkrumah. The Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park was built in 1990 by Ghana's former president, His Excellency, the late Jerry John Rawlings, in honor of Ghana's first president and as part of preserving Ghana's heritage. The Memorial Park was officially opened to the public in 1992. After its establishment in 1992, visitors from all over the world, numbering up to about 98,000 each year, come to pay homage to Ghana's first president and learn about his life and legacies. The Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park is one of the 10 most visited sites in Ghana. This is the new presidential library, providing visitors with access to extensive collection of historical materials and documents related to Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's life and legacy. The new facility now houses a gift shop where visitors can find unique memorabilia. And also at a new facility, we have a restaurant offering diverse culinary experiences to all visitors. Now, come along, let's check out the new state-of-the-art presidential library to see what it has to offer.
The facility also houses the reception, which is in charge of issuing tickets to visitors. And also on display is the official presidential vehicle for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Now, let's explore the library.
The new Memorial Park is set to offer improved and more memorable experience to tourists and history enthusiasts from Ghana and around the world. The redevelopment of the park includes a new audiovisual fountain, This is one of the highlights of the redevelopment. The transformation of the existing fountain into an audiovisual spectacle. The upgraded fountain now incorporates captivating visuals and synchronized music, creating a mesmerizing experience for all who visit. This facility is the final resting place for Osajefo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and his wife, Fatima Nkrumah.
This building hosts rare artifacts of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The decision to renovate and modernize the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park is important not just for Ghanaians to memorialize and celebrate Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, but also for the entire world at large. The remodernized park will befit the status of Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and also give befitting recognition to the other country's founding fathers. It will further concretize the Pan-African Triangular Center for Pan-Africanism in the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, thereby consolidating Ghana's position as the foremost center of Pan-Africanism and diasporan research. The rehabilitation and modernization of the park would also boost local and international tourism and improve Ghana's rating as an investment and trade destination. This is the Artistic Freedom Wall. On the Freedom Wall is a quotation by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah that says, I am not African because I was born in Africa but because Africa was born in me. Now, I leave you with visuals of the commissioning of the Memorial Park. Yeah. My people, no people without a government expect to be treated as the same as people of independent sovereign states. No. My people, it is far better to be free to govern or be governed yourself than to be governed by anybody else. Yes, yes. 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 Those who tell them the height of the which we have attained yes. and know the time in which we have started. We have our work in law, we have our work in We are not going to sleep anymore. Let us begin, begin from now on when we say we want Africa yes. in the world. Yes! yes. Yeah, 
commencement of work of the project was cut. The park, which was built in 1991, opened to the public in 1992. In the time of the first president of the Fourth Republic, His Excellency, the late Jerry John Rawlings, had not seen any renovation since then, resulting in significant deterioration of the edifice. Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park has not only been renovated, but it has also been completely modified, modernized to refit the status of the final resting place of the man who led us to independence in 1957, restaurant, freedom war, and a digitalized payment and access system. The mausoleum has also been fully refurbished. The tombstone upgraded and the museum exp expanded with an older visual tunnel. There's also an upgraded VVIP lounge, a standard recreational area, a modernized gift shop, and a fountain area with synchronized older visuals, the first of its kind in this country. The 13 million CD modernized Kwame Kuma Memorial Park is in line with plans by government to make the park one of the best tourism and heritage attractions in West Africa. As the outstanding Pan-Africanist of his generation, the burial site of Dr. Nkrumah must be appropriate to his status and exceptional contribution to the liberation of Africa from colonialism. Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, which attracted some 90,000 visitors annually before the renovation, is now expected to attract over 1 million tourists annually. I'm charging the Ministry of Arts, of Tourism, Arts and Culture, and its agencies to devise effective marketing and promotional strategies to achieve the target. 1 million domestic and international tourist visitations to the park. I want to say thank you for watching, and if you're new to this channel, do well to subscribe to the channel so the channel can fulfill its goal of 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. If you enjoyed the video, kindly give it a thumbs up and share with your family and friends if possible. Thank you. See you in the next one.